Crenova XPE490A projector. So let's go over what we get in the box and how to config your projector for the first time. All right, let's go over some of the configuration inputs on the Crenova projector. Now, power coming in. This is VGA. This is the old laptop cables. This is your memory card, micro SD, the one you install is this way. Then you push it in and it automatically locks. This is for your remote control. Now run the back. That the key tone. So when you when you set it, you either you move left to right so the picture and looks a little like a triangle. So you set this once. This is the vent. Now, right on the side, we do have the speaker. Now, HDMI input, AVI input, headphones, and USB. So, you just go here. You got all your movies, MP3 pictures. Insert it right there, and automatically will detect it. So, right on the front. Again, that's for your remote control, and there's the main lens. Right in the back, we have the little leg, so I'll show you how to install that. So if we open the box, let's go over some of the things. Remote control, HDMI input. So if you want to input from a cable TV box uh, from your computer, that's the cable you're going to be using. Now, this is for the air regular video. That's the same, maybe an old VCR. So this one, you will plug right in the side of your projector, right there. Now, yellow is your input for video. So it's an output from your VCR. This is your left, and this is your right for the sound. And I'd say again, it, this one most likely will be in all VCR. Now, this is a little lag. You will put it here on the bottom. And you can adjust it the high. You either leave it with the four legs, or you can have this higher. Now, to power in, you just put this here. We're going to plug in a second. So you plug it in, becomes blue, and then red to stand by. To turn around, we can press this button here, becomes blue, blinks, and then a few seconds, it will come on. Now, and it's on already. Now, this is your menu key. This is your return key. This is a navigation through the menu. And this is your enter key. If we see here the remote control, we can turn it off and turn it on right from the remote control. Volume, play, mute. Now, from here, we can navigate, that's the enter key, like this one here. This is your menu, this is your exit. I explain this because I will show you a video where I go over everything. This is the info, this is the exit, and this is to synchronize if you have a TV, you can set the channels for your TV. Once you change the source, you change the source from USB, HDMI, or AV video, the old VCR. Most like it will be HDMI, you leave it HDMI. If you want to play something with MP3 or a movie or a picture, then you click source and you will select USB, hit OK, and that set already. So practically, that's what it is here. What we're going to do now in the next section, we're going to over the main menu on the main screen. So when you turn on, that's the first screen you will get. I'm using the remote control, power it on. So this is our welcome screen. And we can see here we can navigate through movie, music, and photo. If you look at the remote control now, you see the arrows up, down, left, and right. We're going to press the right, and we navigate between these four screens. Now we can see on the right side, it says USB 2.0. That's because I plug in my USB drive. If I take my USB drive, we're going to get no drive. 
something if you plug it in in a SD card right in the back. But the first thing we want to do is go into the menu and look some of the configuration. So I'm going to press the menu is all the way on the left side in the bottom or the middle of the remote control and we see some of the modes. First, picture mode. The mode you like, you like vivid. So to control that, you press OK. And now, left, and we can go standard, soft, user. You can change uh, some of the configuration. I'm going to leave it vivid. So when you choose the mode you like, we're going to press menu again and return to the previous screen. We can change the temperature. When you're there, when you press OK, move to the left, and we can again go to uh, different configuration. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to press the menu key again. Now, the ratio that you want, that in my case, I already set it up automatic. So when I'm there, I press OK. And you can set uh, 4 by 3. That's the normal, the all, all um, of TV. 16 by 9, that all the HDTV, you can leave it automatic and we'll detect that. We're going to press that once again. Noise reduction, again, I'm going to leave it metal. You can go back and make adjustments. We'll return back. The next one is the projection direction. Now, I have in the table, so I'm going to press here. And we can set, it's the front of the table. It's in the rear, so if you have the screen and you project it from the back, if you project it from the front of the ceiling, or if you project it from the rear. So it depends. In my case, it's the top of the table, so I project it to the front. I'm going to leave it the way it is. So you're going to press menu again, and you're back to the screen. And here, we can reduce the display. Right now, it's 100%, but you can press that and bring this screen with lower. So we press that then here. And if we press the arrows, we can bring this down. But we're going to leave it 100%. We'll return the main menu. We'll go back to the main. And when you have that set, you don't need to come back anymore. You set this once. Now, sound. That's a standard. I'm going to press Enter right there. And you can change it. New music more is standard. Anyway, I always recommend uh, connect this to your own stereo because this has a smaller speaker. So to get a, a better, a better experience, I will recommend to connect this to your own stereo. So we press menu again, balance. If you don't change your balance and volume, automatic. We're going to press that, and you can put volume off. So I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it off. I'm going to press now back to the my main menu. Once again, so this one is set once. Time it off, you can set, uh, automatic will go off after an hour, two hours. You, you can set the time that you want that off. Well, we want that off, right? And then the next one, you can change the language. We can reset it to the factory default. So if it is some changes, you feel like what used to be original. So you can have that there. That we're going to do blend it off. Duration that you can set how long you want the screen. If you're not presenting after a few seconds, one minute, everything will go. The screen is like a screen blank, or the main menu, right? So it's a, the first display. And if it's any software update, you will insert it right in the USB drive by the lawyer from the manufacturer. And we can see right on the top, uh, we should be able to see it. I think it, can we see that the top? I think right there, let me show you. Yes, right there we can see. Now we can see the, the revision of the firmware. So that's a menu you need to set up the first time. All right, so now we're going to press menu again and be back to the main screen. Now, if you got text, you can view any PDF file here. You just put it right in your root directory. Your root directory will be your main directory of your um, USB drive. Let's go to photo. And let's have play here. So we're going to press OK, OK there, and we have play. And now, automatically, we'll go to all the pictures. One by one, we can create a, a, a playlist. And if you go down, if you the arrow press down, 
automatic will take the information now. So now we have a, a full screen of these pictures. These are 1080 high resolution pictures. Or if you want that information, you press the arrow up, information there, and with OK, we see the information there. So we're going to go back into either we hit the escape key and go back to the main. I'm, I'm returning with the escape key or main menu. We'll do exactly the same thing. Not actually, escape key and escape key once again. So a few times into the main menu. Now, music, if you want to play MP3, just load any MP3. Something like pictures, we're going to press the OK. Right in the C, we're going to press the Enter. And right here, we can play one or we can just press play. And it will play my MP3 so I can bring the volume up. But I will say it's always good to have your own speaker. It's still a good sound. If we want to move to the next song, we're going to go off, go next. And now play the next song. So you can load as many MP3s you, um, you can have in one USB drive. So we're going to hit the escape key. That's on the right side of the keyboard. And return back to the main menu. Now, movie, same way. Uh, any movie file you have, you can put those on the on the USB. Click OK. Click C again, so two times OK. Now we got there. Uh, you see some of that MP4. And we're going to hit play. And it's loading now. Let's bring the volume now. These are 1080. Now we have to remember that my screen is not, a, that's very important too. Make sure you have what they call the reflected screen. This is a special screen. Uh, my screen is a white screen and it's in purpose to do not reflect any lighting because it's a studio to record video. So my, my screen will not reflect light. But if you have the right projector screen, it, it get vivid colors. They are more powerful than what you see in the screen right now. This is not a screen is not made to project uh, a picture on it, but it still look wonderful. So automatically, it will play. It will play. It will keep and play uh, any movie you have in your root directory, or if you they create a directory for your movies, it will keep going. Or you can go back and select your movies, and then we'll go back into back again into the main menu. And with this, we finish uh, how to use or how to play a movie, a music, and a photo using the projector.